The NATO alliance has held together since the start of the Russian invasion. That's due in part to the efforts of former Texas Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison, who lives in Dallas after serving as President Trump's ambassador to NATO. Tonight, Fox 4's Stephen Dahl talked with Ambassador Hutchison about the Russian invasion and American response. Steve. Steve. Steve, next week, President Biden and NATO leaders will meet together to discuss further punishments for Vladimir Putin for the war in Ukraine, Russian attacking Ukraine, and also how to divvy up billions of dollars in military support and to help refugees. As you mentioned tonight, I talked to former U.S. Ambassador to NATO, Kay Bailey Hutchison, and she was under President Trump. Uh, served in his administration. This week, President Biden announced $800 million in emergency security assistance to Ukraine that will pay for surface-to-air and anti-tank missiles, lethal drones, and other weapons. The U.S. has already imposed large sanctions on Russia, something former Ambassador Hutchison describes as something that we have never done before. The president of Ukraine is asking the U.S. and other NATO allies for a humanitarian no-fly zone over the country, a, a request that the U.S. Department of Defense has repeatedly advised against. Ambassador Hutchinson feels that the U.S. government is doing everything it can and says we have to be cautious about joining the Ukrainians' fight. We are listening to and coordinating with our NATO allies about how we can get more military help to them so they can fight for themselves, which is what they've asked for. And I think that it, it's so important that we give them the tools for this fight because they are valiant. I think that we have done a lot more than we've ever done before in sanctions. And it is essential that we shut off the economy of Russia because if if Putin doesn't feel uh, any kind of inhibition, then he will just keep going, even if it is destroying another sovereign nation like Ukraine. One area that Hutchison says the Biden administration needs to improve in is producing more oil, more drilling sites, our state and private owned lands are on state and private owned lands. Oil companies have said they are dealing with staffing and supply chain issues. Hutchison says not only does the U.S. need to be energy independent, but she says we need to provide oil and natural gas to ally countries in Europe who are being impacted more by this war. Also in Russia, WNBA star and Texas native uh, Brittany Griner is being held in a Russian jail for alleged drug crimes. And Hutchinson says that the U.S. Embassy needs to be able to reach out to them. Today, it was announced that the U.S. is trying to reach out to Griner to contact her. She says Vladimir Putin could be using her as a pawn, but it's very unknown what role he will be playing in Brittany Griner being detained.